Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Joe Boer. I'm with TransWest Trailers. We're coming to you today from our Brighton location, which is our headquarters in Brighton, Colorado on I-76 in Bromley Lane. Today I wanted to do a quick walk around on a Trail King OLB 236. It's an asphalt trailer and uh, it's been a super popular trailer for 30 years is kind of the industry standard, I guess, when you're looking at uh, asphalt trailers. There's a couple other manufacturers, but uh, Trail King's been around the most, or the longest anyway, and has probably sold the most trailers in that uh, industry. We'll come over to the front of the trailer here. There's a lot to talk about on one of these, a lot of moving parts, and uh, so I have a few notes I'm gonna go over, but when you're looking at the front of the trailer here, you have your standard kind of uh, hookups, if you will. You have a uh, vertical pin for the tarp right here. You have your glad hands, uh, pressure and return. And you also have an ISO seven way and a regular seven way plug for the front. Um, and then you have a pressure and return for the hydraulics. You will need a two line wet kit to operate this trailer on your truck. Um, when you're looking at the, the front of the trailer here, uh, Trail King kind of redesigned this a few years ago and it, uh, they did a, a really good job with it. Uh, if you look at the uh, front of it here, this is a, a, a bolt-on uh, upper coupler. Um, sorry, let me get to my notes here. It's a, a bolt-on upper, upper coupler uh, kingpin kit. So, uh, it's easier to take on and off and uh, to do any maintenance on it. It doesn't require as many hours in the shop. Uh, when you look on the inside here, you have your, your roller chain right here, but then up in here, there's an automatic oiler. And what that does is just automatically putting hydraulic fluid onto the, uh, onto the chain right there. Uh, if you look on this side right here, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can kind of leave it on all the time so it's doing a continuous drip on the chain. Uh, or you can kind of adjust it right here to do it uh, a little bit more uh, in one time, if you will. All right, uh, let's kind of talk about the front of the trailer here. Uh, as with most manufacturers, they have a plethora of safety decals that have to go on for uh, <laughs> people that uh, maybe don't know what they're doing, but there's all kinds of those on the front. Uh, as far as the tarp, we use a Sureco uh, SureTrack 2 front to back system. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the end there. Uh, if we come over to the side here, uh, we're gonna have aluminum fenders right here. Uh, this one is set up with just uh, three cross members that are kind of holding it on to it. Um, trailer when we bring them in we're going to bring them in uh, with aluminum sheeting there's also going to be insulation behind that so then you have a hot load of asphalt on there it can kind of keep the, the temperature uh, to where it needs to be if you come back here a little bit uh, the hydraulic lines we just put the regular uh, wings on there uh, obviously you can put whatever kind of uh, quick connects you want uh, but we bring them in like that it's really hard to guess as to what uh, customers are going to need for that. Landing gear to reduce weight. We do a, a pin-on style system. Uh, so you have, I think there's four or five different um, heights you can put that on. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's, I'm going to talk about this on the other side because it's a little bit different there. If we come to the back here, as far as our Suspension goes, we're gonna have an Intrax uh, air ride suspension on these trailers. We're gonna bring them in with 11R245 rubber. Uh, on our stock units, uh, we bring them in with steel wheels. All eight of them are steel wheels. Come over here. This box right here is to control, uh, kind of bring your, you can control the belt. Uh, you have your pressure gauge right there. Uh, so just a nice way to be able to operate the trailer manually, and not inside your cab. Sorry, there's a train coming. There's always a train, we're doing videos. Uh, 
on the uh, rear of the trailer here, we have a, the hydraulic um, hydrostatic drive. We just have one planetary on these. We bring them in stock with one. It's on this side over here. Uh, this is your belt that uh, <clears throat> on the rear, you have these dog ears that kind of open up. And then you have these air cylinders up here that kind of lift up that door. Once it's lifted and you need to be doing maintenance or getting in and out of there, uh, you can put a safety lock. Uh, it's actually on the other side. I should have showed you that, but you can put that right there to keep that door from falling back down. Um, the apron back here is kind of nice. Uh, when you have a paver, the material can dump right inside the paver. Uh, and the standard stuff for these trailers. The one thing about when you're backing into a paver, a lot of times these mud flaps will get caught and ripped off on other trailers. So they did a pin on, you can pull this, pull that mud flap completely all the way off. And so it's not gonna be in the way when you're on the job site. If you have one ladder to access the inside to do clean outs or uh, just to for whatever reason you need to get in the back there. Um, the inside of the trailer, uh, front to back, we use AR450 sheets, so abrasion resistant 450. It's gonna be super strong, and uh, these trailers can be used for really a couple different things. The biggest majority of them are gonna be used to haul asphalt hot mix to and from the uh, job site. Obviously, you can't haul asphalt all the time sometimes we get cold enough temperatures here in other parts of the country where you're not going to be hauling asphalt but you can haul materials uh, to and you know stockpile materials so that you have it ready for the next time you need to uh, to move your asphalt um, on the side here we have a I think this is a uh, I can't remember how big it is as far as how many gallons but it, it's an aluminum pressure tank so you can put in um, material to avoid anything sticking on the inside, which is kind of nice. It also comes with a 40 foot uh, or 30 foot hose, excuse me. When you get into the side over here, you can kind of see what makes up the, the trailer. You have this, this roller chain right here and connecting from this chain to the one on the other side, you have these Z-bars right here. Uh, and that's what uh, provides the strength on the trailer. So the material is actually sitting up on those Z-bars, so it's not pressing that belt down. Um, there's one alligator clip right here that connects the front end of the belt to the back end. It just happens to be right there, which is kind of odd. Um, coming to the front here, on our tarp, our front to back cable system, uh, if for whatever reason it were to break or stop operating or um, isn't working correctly, you can take this uh, pull off here and manually connect it right up there and then open and close it, which is kind of nice, just in case you have any issues when you're on the job site. That's about it. Uh, one of the a couple of the big things as far as volume goes, uh, this trailer's uh, 28 cubic yards. It's 42 foot overall length, 102 inches wide, uh, and it's gonna weigh about 13,300 pounds. And your kingpin to center of the rear axle is 36 feet, which is why it's the OLB 236. If you have any questions, my name's Joe Boer. You can contact me directly at 720-257-1126, uh, or you can put some comments in the bottom and we'd love to get back to you. Thanks for tuning in and uh, have a great day.